Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah Some of the people have some ashkal, have some issues with the concept of tawassal. And for example, they believe and they make statements like, of course it's permissible to make tawassal, and they believe that a part of tawassal is asking the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, for example, saying, O oh, Messenger of Allah, O oh, Rasulullah, please help me with such and such problem. Please help my wife deliver a baby. Please help me in my life because you are close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ahabatifillah, this is a this is shirk. And this is a very important issue that we have to understand. We have to know that Tawassal is of three types. Tawassal, Mishroor is of three types, meaning there are three types of permissible Tawassal, and we're going to give you the deal for each one of them. A Tawassal ila Allah Ta'ala bi ism min asma'ihi al-husna, o sifa min sifatihi al-uliya. The first type of Tawassal is that this Tawassal seeking to draw nearer to Allah, the Almighty, by one of his divine names and attributes. And an example would be Ka'an yuqul al-Muslim fi du'aihi Allahumma inni as'alaku bi annaka anta rahman al-Rahim al-Latif al-Khabir and ta'afini An example of this would be when the Muslim supplicates to his Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and he says, O oh Allah, verily I ask you, because you are the most merciful and the most beneficent, the Al-Latif, Al-Khabir, the all-knowing and the, 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 the gentle, to please cure me. So again, you're using, you're praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by his divine names and attributes. You're using his names like Ar-Rahman because it's all, the most merciful, Ar-Rahim, the most beneficent, uh, Al-Latif, the most gentle, you know, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has these beautiful, divine, perfect attributes. So you're supplicating to Allah by one of those attributes. Uh, and the dalil for this, where's the evidence from? Why, is this from me? Is this from just the ulama? La. The dili who comes from the Qur'an, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says regarding this tawassal mishroor, qawluhu ta'ala, walillah al-asma'l husna, fad'uhu biha. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-A'raf, uh, uh, and for Allah is the divine uh, names. So supplicate to him by them. That's what Allah says in the Qur'an. The second type of tawassal al-habatifillah, very important that we understand these three types of tawassal mishroor. The second type, a habit of Allah, a tawassal ala Allah Ta'ala bi amal al-salih qama bihi ad-da'i. And this is uh, seeking to draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by righteous deeds that, a, that the person who supplicates does meaning by your own actions. And we have the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where the three men were uh, were, were trapped in the cave and they supplicated to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they mentioned good deeds that they did or sins that they avoided when the pressure was on and one of them he left off the sin of zina he was going to commit zina with a beautiful woman a beautiful woman who was righteous who had never had relations with anyone and she said, fear Allah at the last minute. He was ready. He was ready to have relations with her. And she said, fear Allah. Uh, do not disturb, you know, what should only be taken in marriage, basically, is the meaning. So Allah blessed and gave the, you know, moved the rock out of the way for each one of those people, those companions of the cave, each one of them for their righteous deeds, either that they did a righteous deed 
and they mention that deed in their supplication. Oh Allah, if I did this such and such for your sake. Oh Allah, I left this sin for your sake. So this is to wassail with the righteous deeds. This is using righteous deeds in order to draw near to your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the dalil for this from the Quran is the saying of Allah the Almighty, الَّذِينَ يَقُولُونُ رَبَّنَا إِنَّنَا آمِنَّا فَاغْفِرْ لَنَا ذُنُوبَنَا وَكِنَا عَذَابَ النَّارِ in, in Surah, uh, Surah uh, Ali Imran, Ali Imran uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And those who say, Our Lord, verily we believe, please forgive us of our sins and save us from the hellfire. So again here, they have made ithbat of their iman. They've affirmed the fact that they have iman, which is a righteous deed. And they are seeking forgiveness from their Lord, which is a deed, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive them and save them from the fire. This is seeking to draw near to Allah Azza wa Jal again. The third type of tawassal is a tawassal of Allah Ta'ala bi du'a a rajul as salih This is very important because this is the issue that we have with our brother who mentioned this and had a misunderstanding. May Allah forgive us in him and guide us in him and guide all of those people who have this understanding. So this third type of tawassal, which is very important for us to pay attention to, this is seeking to draw nearer to Allah the Almighty with supplica uh, by the supplication of a righteous person or a saint or a scholar or a talib al-ilm or someone who is a, a person who you believe to be favored, who is known for righteousness, known for being a person of ibadah and worship and taqwa. So seeking their dua to pray to Allah on your behalf, oh, so-and-so, please make dua for me. I'm having a hard time. Make dua that Allah makes this easy for me. Make du dua that Allah unites me and my wife easily. Make dua that Allah increases my risk. I'm having a tough time. So here you're asking someone who's living, not the dead. So we're not asking the people of the engrave. And we're not asking the angels. And we're not asking the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Why? Because the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in didn't do it. The Salaf al-Saleh, they didn't do it. And those after them, they didn't do it. From the righteous, from the people known for ibadah, and for the people known to be from Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah, they didn't do this. They did not seek uh, uh, to draw near to Allah by supplicating to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when Allah mentioned Innaka may uh wa innuhum mayitun. That verily you will die and verily they will die. Allah lets us know that the Prophet ﷺ died. Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala and when he was trying to convince Umar and Umar wanted to slice the heads of whoever said that Muhammad ﷺ died. He said, Whoever worships Muhammad, then for Muhammad for uh Muhammad فَقَدْ uh, مَاتْ or مَاتْ or كَمَا قَالْ that Muhammad has died sallallahu alayhi wa sallam if you worship Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then know that he's died and the law is the ever living Allah is al hay is al hay al qayyum Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the ever living and he doesn't need anything to support him to assist him he subhanahu wa ta'ala created us we're in need of him so those are just two evidences that Muhammad sallallahu died and the Sahaba radiallahu they didn't go and supplicate to the Prophet say, Ya Nabi Allah, please give us this, please help us with this, please help us do this. They didn't do this. nor the tabi'in nor tabi'in. And what is some of the dalil for seeking this tawassal from a living, righteous person? One of the dalils is this. ودليله حديث أنس بن مالك عندما توصل عمر بدعاء عباس رضي الله تعالى عنهما. So the evidence for this is the hadith of Anas bin Malik رضي الله تعالى عنه when Umar رضي الله تعالى 
he made to wassail with the dua bi dua bi dua uh, 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 bi dua abbas by the supplication of abbas not bi bi abbas he didn't go and, and supplicate to abbas oh abbas please do this for me please make it rain please tell Allah to make it rain and and, and Abbas is ghaib. no and Abbas was not there no that's not what he did but instead he made to wassail how by a righteous living person that he asked to supplicate to for it to rain not that who was absent and he said oh make it rain or tell Allah to make it rain la evident so that lets us know what that this righteous, salih person should be a living person in your presence. فَعَنْ أَنَسَ بِنْ مَالِكَ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَعْنَ عَنْهُ أَنَّ عُمَرَ بِنَ الْخَطَابِ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَعْنَ عَنْهُ قَالْ كَانَ إِذَا قَدْ قَحْتَهُ قَحْتُ إِسْتِسْقَى بِالْعَبَّاسِ إِبْنَ أَبْدُ الْمُطَلَبِ فقال اللهم إن كنا نتوصل إليك بنبينا صلى الله عليه وسلم فتسكينا وإن نتوصل إليك بعم نبي نبينا فس فسكنا قال فيسكنوا رواه بخاري this is in Bukhari this is a powerful powerful hadith so عمر رضي الله تعالى عنه what did he say so he sought Abbas to make du'a for the Muslims, for it to rain. And Umar radiallahu ta'ala, and what did he say that you'll find in Sahih Bukhari? He supplicated to Allah. He said, O oh Allah, verily we used to seek to draw nearer to you by your Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We used to. Inna kunna natawassal ilayka bi nabiyyana sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We used to make dua. Meaning what? Why didn't they make dua? Why didn't he make dua and ask the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then if it was permissible? Because it was after the death of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that was not the sunnah of the Prophet. That was not the sunnah of the Sahaba. Radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in. Wala khulafa rashideen. رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين ولا سلف سلف ناس صالح رضوان الله عليهم. That was not their sunnah, and it's not the sunnah of Ahl Sunnah. So the Omar رضي الله تعالى said he said Oh Allah, we used to make we used to seek your assistance by your prophets, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Meaning we used to ask him to supplicate for us when he was living, and then you. Descended the rain upon us. But verily, now we seek you, meaning seek to make tawassal from you by, by the uncle of your prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So please descend rain upon us. And then it was said, and then he said, so then it uh, they the rain it rained upon them. Ruah Bukhari Ibn Saad fi Tabaqat. So a Habatifillah he made to us be Ibn Abbas, who was living at the time. Who meaning he he asked him. He didn't supplicate to Ibn Abbas, but he 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 said to Allah, he supplicated to Allah to accept the du'a of Ibn Abbas, of Abbas, radiallahu ta'ala And instead of supplicating to Abbas, and likewise, in this hadith, why, if we were to make that a hujjah, the people who say we can supplicate to the Prophet, and they use the tashahud uh, as an example, or they say the Prophet ﷺ didn't die and the shuhada didn't die. Now we say, yes, they didn't die. They're in the life of Al-Barzakh. Al Barzakh, and this life we don't know about, except for what's in the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and we don't have any delil from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam to try to seek intercession from the life of Barzakh. 
to ask the angels to do something for us, to ask the shuhada, the, the martyrs, to do something for us, to ask any of the prophets, alayhi ma'afdal salatu wasalam, to do, do, make dua for us. We have no evidence for this. Leave it, it's bid'ah. Leave it, it's shirk. Ask Allah Azza wa Jal. Ask Allah Azza wa Jal. This doesn't mean we don't make salam to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And I hope this was clear. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.